All right, this is third grade, module five, lesson 13. And in this lesson, we're gonna be identifying the shaded fractional part in different ways. Okay, now what does that mean? Okay, so first off, let's kind of review what a fraction means, right? So when you look at a fraction, uh, the denominator, whatever that number is, is gonna tell you the number of equal parts that the whole is cut into. So this whole thing right here, this number is dependent on what we decide counts as one whole. Does one whole count as one pizza? Or does one whole count as just a piece of pizza? Because it's like a serving. Uh, so that's what we're going to be talking about in this lesson is we're going to be kind of changing around what counts as a whole. And that means what our fraction is, is going to change, or uh, what the, the shape, you know, what three-fifths is, is going to have to change, or, you know, we're going to just play with the concept of a whole right here. All right, so let's get started on this. So here we have this column right here is the shape, the entire shape represents one whole. So this whole circle represents a whole, or this stick represents a whole, or this parallelogram represents a whole, or this rectangle represents a whole. That's what this column stands for. Now this column, it says the shaded part represents one whole. So the circle is not a whole, it's the half circle which represents a whole. Or this little shaded piece right here equals a whole or this triangle equals a whole, or this skinny thing equals a whole. So that's the difference between these two columns. So what we're going to do first is look at this left column, and I'm going to do this a little out of order. I'm going to just kind of go straight down and identify what fraction is shaded. Well, this is a half. This is a third. Now, teachers and parents, you may want to pause the video and let your students do the thinking instead of making me do all the work. Uh, but what about this one? This is a fourth. And then what is this one? One, two, three, four, five. So this is five. So that's a fifth. All right. So there you go. So there's our, our shaded parts and what fraction each shaded part is. Now, over here, they're saying... Now, if the shaded part represents one whole, we're supposed to cut this to identify a half. All right? So if this shaded part equals a whole, then I'm going to cut this right here, straight down the middle, and that gives us a half and a half, and that's what we're supposed to do. In the same way, since our fraction is a third, we're supposed to think of this as one whole and then cut it into thirds. So I'm going to cut it into thirds. One, two, three. There's my thirds, and I'm supposed to label one third, one third, one third. And there we go. And let's do one last one. Uh, let's see. If this represents a fourth, okay, now I'm supposed to consider this shaded part as one whole, and I need to cut it into four equal size pieces, and this is actually kind of tricky. Um, oh, if you go like this, and this, and this, there's kind of four equal size pieces. See that? One, two, three, four equal size pieces, and then we're supposed to label each one of those as a fourth. One fourth, one fourth, one fourth. And that's the idea of this problem. And the last slide for this video it says draw three strings, B, C, and D. So we already have string A. And now we're going to do B, C, and D by following these directions. So let's label this B, C, and D. So there's our strings. That's where we're going to draw our strings. Now it says, string B is one-third of string A. So that means 
we need to take string A and cut it up into three equal sized pieces and that is how long string B is. Then it says string C is half of string B. So that means I need to take string B, cut it in half, and that is how long string C is. And then the last one, string D, is one-third of string C. So that means I need to take string C, cut it up into three pieces, and there is string D. So technically, I am now done. But the extension, I can't resist. Gotta look at it. String E is five times the length of... Wait, string E is five times the length of string D. Oh my goodness. So what does that mean? That means for string E, all we need to do is take string D, there's string D, and do five of them. One two, three, that makes us the exact same length as string C, and then add two more, four, five, and there's string E. That wasn't so hard. It's five times the length of string D. And that wraps up grade three, module five, lesson 13, where we're changing the way we view a whole and seeing how that changes the fraction that we're talking about.